previously with Chelsea Rain. Hi everyone, this is Chelsea Rain, and today I will be showing you how to make my famous salmon lettuce wraps. <laughs> One hit of lettuce, 10 ounces of salmon, one small avocado, cheese is optional, and choose your favorite sauce. So what you're going to do first is turn on your stove on a medium heat. And then now what you want to do is grab some seasonings uh, to season your salmon however you like. And what you're going to do is, I use olive oil to pan fry my salmon, so I use just a lid full of olive oil and I throw it in there along with the salmon. And once we do that, we're going to move on to the lettuce. So I have my seasonings, and what I like to use is a little bit of garlic powder, some onion powder, some black pepper, and also some barbecue seasoning. So, some garlic. And the barbecue. So now that we just finished seasoning our salmon, we're going to move it on over to the stove where uh, we already have it preheated. And what I'm doing now is taking my olive oil and pouring just a little bit in here and putting it in the pan. And now I get a handy spatula and just put these two little fishies on here. And while that's in the pan for a little bit, we're going to move on to our lettuce, where we're going to prepare our wrap. So we have the wrapping off of the lettuce head. Now I'm going to go rinse it off and come back. So now what we're going to do is oops, peel off the first layer of the lettuce and this is what we're going to use as the wrap. Put the salmon and the cheese and the sauce in. But be sure to be very, very, very careful because it's very delicate and you don't want to rip it. So, voila! <laughs> All right, so this is one, and oh, looks like we have two right here, and here is a second one. So now that we're done with the lettuce, we're going to move on to the avocado. And grab a knife so you can cut it. Obviously not very good at cutting off cutters. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you just slice it however big you want it in your lettuce wrap. I'm probably going to keep it maybe around this size just because I love avocado and I'm probably going to want the chunkiness of it. 
So now that we're done slicing the avocado, we're gonna go ahead and put this back aside and grab our lettuce so we can prepare it to put the salmon in. So I'm just gonna take one first and what I'm gonna do is just probably drizzle a little bit of the sauce. And now, taking this, sprinkle a little bit of cheese on there. Okay. And then once we put the salmon in there, then we're gonna set the avocados on top. Now that the salmon seems about fully cooked, what we're gonna do now is chop it up so it can go Let's wrap. So as you can see, it's still nice and moist. It's not too dry. And I don't like dry salmon. I don't know about you. And it doesn't matter how chunky you have it. Like it. It smells so good. Alright, so now that we're done with the salmon, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the butter. And then find a small container that you can put it in so you can let it chill in the fridge or the freezer for a little while. Or you can have it hot, whichever you prefer. set it in the freezer for maybe about 15 to 20 minutes and we're going to come back and then add it to the lettuce wrap. So since I am very hungry and that salmon is just ridiculously good looking, uh, I'm going to take the salmon back out freezer and put it in the lettuce wrap. This looks too good. So you just kind of even it out a little bit and it still doesn't look as full as I like so I'm going to add just a little bit more. put these on there. can't believe I was about to forget it. Where would these lettuce wraps be without it? And put this another piece on here. Wow, this is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so now I am going to wrap it up because it is a lettuce wrap. And be careful when you do this too because it does like to break, so be very, very gentle. Okay. So, that should be it right there. Voila! Lettuce wrap. So that is how you make the salmon lettuce wraps. And using the 10 ounces of salmon, it made two pretty filling size portions of the lettuce wraps. But if you choose to use uh, smaller portions, it can make about four. Um, I really hope that you enjoy 
And thank you so much for watching. If you have any other recipe suggestions, feel free to comment down below. And thank you for watching.